Hello, I'm Sarah Marintz, singer, songwriter, and former Moon Middle School student. Today we're here talking about something that is very near and dear to my heart, an organization called Spread the Word to End the Word. Spread the Word to End the Word is an organization that helps spread awareness of the hurtful effects of the word retarded. Up next we have a video portraying a day in the life of a very courageous but challenged student. Alright class, make sure you get your homework done tonight. That includes studying. We do have a Lesson 18 quiz tomorrow. I'm gonna fail. I'm such a retard. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I have so much. Yeah, sitting there. I wish the teachers would just be smug. Homework is so Right. I'm such a hey guys, did you hear that Sarah got kicked out of the gifted program? Really? She has my teeth like I'm looking 30. Well, she became extremely retarded. Yeah, I know. Did you hear? Matt failed his math test. Are you serious? That was like the easiest math test ever. I know, right? Yeah. This water fountain won't work. It's so retarded. I can't believe my parents are making me wait until my contract starts getting it. Oh, we got the iPhone 4 the other day. The best one I've ever had. Really? Kind of so good. The weight of words. The word retarded is said and heard hundreds of times in schools throughout our country every week. Help us and spread the word to end the word. Spread the word to end the word. Our words out of word. Today I have with me a few Moon Middle School students who are going to share their insights, ideas, and stories about stopping the R word. Our first guest from the eighth grade, we have Hannah. Emily and Anthony. Before learning about the organization Spread the Word to End the Word, had you ever used the R word? Um, I will admit, yes, I did use the word, but after I learned about the organization and me and like some of my friends from school, we did some projects and I learned a lot more mm -hmm. about the word and just tried not to use it anymore. Do you find the word offensive? I do find it very offensive because my aunt has an intellectual disability and it is very hurtful to me and I mean it might be hurtful to other people if they have personal experiences. Right, okay. 
What do you plan to do to help eliminate the R word from everyday vocabulary? I plan to just help other people understand about what more like meaning the word is and it's a lot more meaningful than they might understand. And I guess we can create awareness and have people go on rword.org and take the pledge, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Emily, have you ever used the R word before? I have to admit, yes, I have used the R word, but after learning about the organization, I understood that it is offensive to most people. What do you plan to do to eliminate the R word from everyday vocabulary? Um, well, most people don't know that it is offensive to other people, but letting them know that, like showing them like awareness that it is hard for most people to hear that word, that they should not say the word. How do you think people can spread awareness that this might be a hurtful word to people with intellectual disabilities? Um, I think they can like go on the website and like take the pledge and for people like if they're popular in school then maybe like their friends will pledge too. Absolutely. So if like followers mm -hmm. so like if they do it most people follow too. Just spreading the word huh? All right. On October 5th, 2010, a bill was signed to eliminate the phrase mental retardation from the medical community. Before finding out about spread the word to end the word, had you ever used the R word before? I have used the R word before, but not that much, not as much as other people, because I did know it was offensive to some people, but now that we've done our activities at school, I know it's way more offensive. What kind of activities at school did you participate in? We made videos at school showing how offensive it is mm -hmm. to the people with the disability. What do you plan to do to help eliminate the R word from everyday vocabulary? I already kind of helped. I, every time somebody says it near me, I tell them I don't like that word and they shouldn't use it because it's offensive to some people, even if they don't think what we're doing is going to help any, it still makes me feel better. And how have people reacted to you when you've said, that word's hurtful, I don't like that word? They really pretty much just ignore me and say, oh, well, I don't really care what you say, but it just makes me feel better inside that I'm helping. So you continue on with what you're doing because mm -hmm. you believe in the cause? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. My first question is, whenever you hear someone use the word retard or retarded, what do you do? Typically when somebody's using that word, they're using it in a mean and hurtful way. So I let them know that it's offensive to me and my family because I have an older brother who has intellectual disabilities. So I let them know that it's not cool and it's offensive to me and my family. My question is, what should we do? We are just kids and people say the word all the time. How should we tell them that it's wrong and offensive? When you hear the word, you can kind of say, that's a tough word for me to hear and explain why. We have to remember that we're educating in this process. You don't want to make somebody feel dumb or stupid for using the word. So maybe share a personal story. You might have a friend or a family member, somebody you know with an intellectual disability. And just explain that it's offensive to you or to your friend when they use the R word. Here's a video showing how we're more alike than different. school and I'm a teacher. I wiggle, wiggle. 
Chris is very much more than just an employee. He is a role model here, not only for my families, but for each one of us. I mean, here is a young man with special needs who is proving every day what he can do. And if you ask my children, both my typical children and my son with Down syndrome, who were your teachers at the Rise School? They will say, oh, Mr. Chris was my teacher. They don't think of him as any different than the other teachers that they had while they were here. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very nice. An I O one. Yes, I know where everything is. This is where the coffee is and the baby food is. Hammer girls clean pockets or they just throw the dough. The hands out gooey and all that stuff. The hamburger meat, pork chops, and all this stuff is in the produce section. Potato salads and macaroni salads. Oh yeah. Now I'm starting to get hungry. The abilities of an individual with Down syndrome are directly in relationship to what we expect of them. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, you go all the way down to this hallway. I'm dropping this off for um, Nessa Hoffman. All right. Looks like any help out? Sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. If we have low expectations, okay. they'll slide. If we have high expectations, yeah. They'll rise, meet them, and surprise you. you every You're single welcome. time. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sounds too good at this stuff. She is every bit as normal. And that's what I have learned. That's what I feel. When we're out in the public together, I just feel like I have a little sister with me or something. Hatch. Yeah. Hatch that's, out. that's how it helps. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's how I think. I'm glad there wasn't a, a rainbow, huh? Yeah, it's like a rainbow. Yep. Christy has done things for me and in my class that I wouldn't imagine possible. No, I know. My spring break, I plan on staying home, sleeping in. I will not get up until 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm going out of town to see my grandfather get married, which I'm hmm. excited about. Okay. My cousin Darcy's getting married. I have heard like 82 patterns so far. I've seen people around out and about with Down syndrome. I didn't know anything about it until I met more. Now that I've met her, she's normal. Just like anyone else that's walking around this campus. She does everything that we do. If we want to do something, we don't think about her disabilities or anything. She's just one of the girls. Have a great day. You look like your mom. Mark has the ability to do anything that he wants to do. One of his favorite phrases when he's doing anything is, nothing's going to stop me, nothing's going to get in our way. I'm here to support Mark. I mean, Mark's uh, coming to get an award, which is uh, very important for Walmart to have associates of workforce that go out in the community, support the community, and are involved as, as heavily as Mark is with the uh, Down syndrome. Okay, now, I'm walking along.
I um, happened to be at his work and he called me dad and as I was walking out of the store, a lady came up to me and said, is that your son? You're very pretty. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And I said, yeah, that's my son, Mark. And she says, he's a lovely person and he's one of the reasons why I shop here. I just really wish parents would stop giving up on the kids and just assuming because they have a disability they can't do things. The notion that Mark is different because he has Down syndrome and works at Walmart is very much a misnomer. Mark is an associate at Walmart and that's how we see him. We see him as uh, an associate that comes in and goes to work and does his job. The many voices that we have in society need to be heard and that if we are inclusive of people, if we allow them into society to have roles, to have jobs, to have things that they can do on their own, does nothing more but enrich our lives. You can make a difference. Take the pledge at www.r-word.org.